So I said that that I was going to do a, a video weekly a video with uh, what I'm reading, what I've read, and so on. But it seems that I receive a lot of books um, at the same time. So I'm going to do now a quick um, a quick uh, show of, of of books I've received, and then uh, next uh, sorry next. Um, Next uh, week, uh, the weekly video, I'm going to talk about the books I'm going to receive probably this Saturday. Let's see. So, in terms of books I received, I received two full collections um, and a couple of novels here and there. So, the first books I've received was four novels by Edmund Cooper. This is a sci-fi, post-apocalyptic uh, kind of um, writer. He wrote... Um, around 20 novels, I, I believe. Uh, I've got all of these four. It was like a compilation I bought via Ernie Bay, pretty cheap. This is All Fool's Day. Um, and this is something to do with um, uh, a kind of apocalyptic scenario, like the, 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 um, the sun start doing weird stuff and people start killing themselves and so on so it's kind of post-apocalyptic scenario kind of stuff this was written all in 70s so i, I usually uh, they are usually short novels with good ideas probably less characterization more on the ideas side second one was second one is sea horse in the sky okay so this is part the, uh, let me just quickly read. All first, he thought it was uh, all part of some crazy nightmare, but it wasn't. Russell Graham uh, was only one handful of passengers flying the Stockholm to London. One moment flying peaceful in the sky, the next lying in an unearthly green coffin. Graham was the first to emerge from this strange resting place, but for him, as well as for the others, it had been only the first ecliptical experience. Soon all were to find themselves lost in a bizarre world medieval knights, stone age warriors and gremlins, caught unnaturally in the weirdest cocoon of time. So it's a time travel kind of post apocalyptic stuff. I don't know that much about it. Jupiter Loves, uh, Loves it's a compilation of short stories by him, also pretty, uh, I believe it was 13 short stories. And finally, uh, Edmund Cooper 5 to 12. Um, 21st century is drawing to an end, Earth's uh, social structure has undergone a complete reversal, women dominate society and men have been reduced to the status of manipulated objects. In this world, sorry, in this changed world comes the O'Quern, a self-styled troubadour who refused to conform to the social norm, but he discovers that women are superior to men in both bodily strength and number. And how can one man hope to change a world society? So, this is also written in the 70s. I believe this author wrote another novel. I don't know if this is the, the same one. I believe not. Which is called Who Needs Man? And this guy touched several subjects back in the days when nobody was talking. Well, today the, the new wave feminists and whatever people are lying around say, oh, now is the time. But no, it started like in the 60s or so. El Queen and so on. So this is another one that I'm interesting to read. So two uh, or Lovecraftian stuff. One is Stonefish by Scott R. Jones. This is a 300 page book. I never, I didn't read anything by him, but I knew that he was something that I was keen to read. So I bought it. It's uh, uh, horror slash Lovecraftian and so on. And this one, it's called The Once Yellow House by Gemma Amor. Um, this one is told from what I've heard, um, a kind of diary, audio descriptions and so on, uh, or about the cult and so on. So I'm very, very eagerly waiting to read this. I, I, I will read this in October without any doubt. Then I purchase um, a collection of 
novels of a series I'm reading, um, and it's called, it's by this guy, James Harriot. Um he wrote, uh, sorry, there is a te te two television series, um, All Creatures Great and Small, and they are based on these books. These books are by him, by this this guy, James Eric. These are like biographic kind of stuff. I don't know how to describe this. It's biographic, but at times it's comedy. It's 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 uh, him telling stories that happened in his life. I don't know if something is non-fiction. I believe all it is uh, well. It's him telling, so it's biographical. So you have. To the first one, if only they could talk, very short. It shouldn't happen to a vet, again, short. Let sleeping vet lies. I re really love the, all of these covers, like these are told in the 40s or so. Vet in harness. Vets made fly. I believe he went to Second World War II and then return, so a couple of novels are before, some are after, I don't know if some deal with it. Vet in a spin, all of them are pretty small, 300 pages, apart from these two, last two. The one, the Lord God made them all, yeah, the war is over, the rough uniform, so he, he, these ones are two after he came to the war. And finally, every living thing, so it's seven novels, no, sorry, eight novels, Let's see how this compares with the um, TV series I'm currently watching. And finally, but not least, these are books, a six-part books that I was searching for a long time, but they cost around $200 without any doubt. If you try to find any single book, it costs around $30 each one. Uh, you may get some kind of discount, some kind of, but usually you can't get this by... Uh, for less than $100. You can check it on eBay and so on. So when I got this, I, it was like they were selling by, by, I believe it was $35 plus shipping. So um, it was very, a very good find. Even if I don't like it, I will sell it, but I won't because I like the covers. <laughs> so let's see. So this is uh, David C. Smith and Richard L. Twerning. Um, they wrote six novels by Red Sonia and these are the books they all have the same kind of covers by the same author which I don't want to I don't know I, I believe these are Frank Fazetta maybe, I don't know I will, I will try to check it which is uh, the name of the um, of the, the guy who wrote this made these designs but they are very very cool uh today these will be like censored or, s or at least these will not good or at least would not be accepted whatever this is a red sonia the ring of ik ribu the second novel is red sonia and the demon knight then beautiful covered painting uh, and I'm mistaken, it's not Francetta, Francetta is the one I'm going to get four books by him, Frank Francetta, this is Bori Vallejo, uh, I'm sorry, it should be, because he really writes, uh, the most of his art is about this almost me naked girl, and it's very, very cool. The third one is When Hell Laps. The fourth one is Editor's Daughter. This was written back in 79, 80, 21 and 82, so they are 40 years old now. Against the Prince of Hell. These books, and also they are very hard to find. There were no uh, republications, as far as I know. They are of first printing, first edition, so on, because they were not get met near reprints, you know, because pro February of 83, so probably because, yeah, these are controversial ones. I don't know why, this is, m okay, there are some parts here that, of course, they will probably deal with more for male audience, 
but they are dealing with a, a very powerful and one of the first heroines created in fantasy. Uh, Robert E. Howard wrote about Red Sonia in his Conan's novels, and these guys grabbed that character and told stories about her. So he's, she's a very empowering woman. Of course, she's, well, not that clad in the clothes, but it doesn't, it's, it goes both ways. I've seen critics of both, both female and male. I've, I've seen people uh, giving credits both male and female. Okay, so it's a very um, controversial team. To me, I enjoy it, of course. And this one is Star of Doom. This is the sixth and last novel that they wrote. Strangely enough, uh, the, the covers match. At, well, like this. Apart from <laughs> the colors, I don't know, red, black, red, red, black, red, and then the number. All of them are black except the sixth one, which is red. I don't know why. Probably to, to, to destroy it. Uh, my collection, I don't know, uh, uh, and far as I know, this is the only printing, so there is not a misprinting or something like that, no, no, it's just probably forgot. So these are the books I've purchased, so a lot of them.